Hi everyone, it's Jasenia. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be walking through inserts. Now, if you guys watched my video yesterday, you will know that I have been playing around with inserts for my A5 ring bound planner. And I came up with an iteration that I used in the video and I have since then uh, sort of tweaked that version, added a couple of other versions and I have listed them on Etsy for you guys to be able to purchase for instant download and you can use them as your own printables. So I'm going to walk through today the different uh, options that are going to be up in the shop, basically all of the things that are there and then um, we will go from there. So I want to walk through, let's walk through this one first since it's on the top. Okay, I went ahead and zoomed you guys in a little bit just so you can see hopefully a little bit better. Now, up in the um, Etsy shop, there are going to be three different versions for sort of weekly planner inserts. And then I do also have a recipe insert. So these are all, like I said, for printables. So it is a digital file and then you will download it and print it yourself. They all will come with directions to hopefully help you guys do that very easily. They're all PDF file formats, which is pretty standard, I believe, from all of the printables that I've ever used, whether it was for stickers or for inserts or anything. It is pretty standard and fairly simple to do. You can get Adobe Acrobat Reader for free if you don't have it. It is a very easy download. So anyways, I'm going to walk through here. These are all cut and punched because I um, I went ahead and did it for myself and I wanted to show you guys what it looks like when once you print it out and get it all done. So um, and I will also I'll talk through kind of the extra supplies that I use if you guys want to hear about that at the end, but I'll just walk through the inserts. So this first pack here, they start in January. So these are all January and dated. And what it is, is you have an A5 page size once these flaps are closed. When they are open, they are a little bit larger than the A5 page size, of course, so you can get your full layout in here. So on this left-hand side of the page, you have this fold-out flap. You have January here for your sidebar, and then you got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday here on the other flap, and then these close. Now the outside of these flaps are blank, so you can use them. If you wanted to make them into an extra sidebar to track other things, you can definitely do that, or you can just use it as a space to decorate. Um, I've been using it as a space to decorate, and that worked out really well for me, but um, you know, if your sidebar isn't enough for you, you can always track or do other fun things. I'm sure you guys can get really creative with that and do some fun things there. Um, yeah, and I love like this little feminine kind of curly cute font and I did end up opening up the headers so that they were in a solid block of color and the reason for that is because I felt like it was a little bit more, I don't know, I really personally like my inserts and my planner pages to be fairly simple and not have a lot going on because I hate having to pull out the whiteout and having to pull out different things to try and cover stuff and so I figured I know a lot of the times when you're putting a sticker that potentially goes over that header uh, that's a really light color sometimes that color that's printed on the page kind of comes through and you can see it and so people white it out so I figured it would be nicer to have them open just so that you can have a little more flexibility with decorating your pages I like to decorate my planner and that's really what these are intended for is to be decorated um, of course, you can use them as they are, but I think um, they're mainly designed and thought of to be decorated, so I wanted to keep everything simple. I did a gray color so that it kind of sets back and it's not too dark or, set, you know, comes forward too much. It's visible, but it's not, um, you know, that apparent. So that's that, and then when you flip the page over, for this particular one, I believe I called this, it is the grocery um, slash menu kind of health um, packet. So you've got your weekly and then on the other side you've got a grocery list on one page and then a menu on the other page. So the grocery list here as you can see you have spaces um, to write in your grocery list and little circles so that you can check things off as you purchase if you take this with, to the store with you. I also put a section here for ideas. Uh, the main reason why I did that is because I thought if you were going to be meal planning or also if you're like thinking of different things that sometimes like you might be thinking, oh, I really want to make, um, you know, pasta on Wednesday, but I'm not really sure. Or I really want to like remember to make this certain thing or I have like, you know, somebody give me a recipe for this. Like, don't forget. I don't know. You can use a space for whatever, but that's kind of what I was thinking of for ideas. If you just kind of want to jot things like that down, like little notes for yourself, um, you have a space to do that before you kind of go in and really write everything down in here. 
Um, so then on this right hand side of the page, you of course have your menu and you've got Monday, Tuesday, all the way through Wednesday, uh, sorry, through Sunday. And here you have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then on this side you have snacks and you have two lines for snacks to kind of write things in. And then you have hydrate and then there are eight hearts for hydrate. So this gives you, um, it's sort of like your whole like food, health, meal type thing. If you wanna, you know, you've got your grocery list, you've got your meal planning thing. And I thought that was something that was nice that, you know, if you, if you do do that, you would be doing it weekly. And so that fits to go in between the pages. So that's what that is. And then of course you flip over and then get the next week with the fold outs in there and then so on and so forth. And this goes all the way through to the last week of January, which kind of flows into February. So it goes through February 5th and then that is January. So that is the first um, set there. So there is a second set that is very similar um, to this one and the only difference is is that this one has the grocery list and the menu on the back whereas this one has, and I haven't cut this one for a couple of reasons, um, but this one just has a list on one side with your lines going all the way to the bottom there as you can see and then just a plain notes section on the other side of the page. And the reason I did this is because I know not everyone does um, meal planning or grocery lists or if you're in school you probably aren't grocery shopping or I don't know. Um, so I wanted to kind of give another option that was a little bit more, I don't know, generic almost and you can sort of use it for anything and this is very similar. The one that I made for myself actually said video ideas or something like that on this side but I figured if I just wrote list and did that you could use it really for anything and then you have a note section. So. Um, Hopefully that is, you know, helpful to some of you. And I did leave this one uncut because I wanted to show you guys kind of the format of this, which I will go through probably at the end of the video when I go through the supplies so you guys can see kind of how the files are formatted and what you might need to um, cut them down. So this third one here is called the continuous and the reason I did that is because instead of where the other one has the two fold out flaps and then the back side you have something in between, this one just has one fold out flap per week and then it continues through. So right here you have, I should probably show this side because I folded that one wrong <laughs> when I was doing it, but this one here again when it's folded you have your A5 page size and then this left hand side here folds out. So what you have here is your sidebar and then as you open it up you've got Monday all the way through Thursday on this left hand side of the page and then on the right hand side of the page you have Friday through Sunday and then you flip over and again you've got your sidebar Monday inside all the way through Thursday here and then Friday through Sunday. And so that's kind of how that goes. So this is um, less pages and if you don't feel the need to have something in between, you want your pages back to back and just kind of continue, then this is the one for you. So this is the continuous. So this one I think is six pages and the other one is I think are somewhere between 11 and 12. I don't have to go and count, but I think that's what it is. Um, so a couple of different options there depending on what you want and what you're looking for. So I can show you just a quick little thing here. So here is this layout what that would look like in your planner. And then um, the other one you've got here, it looks like this, you've got the two flaps and then you've got everything inside. So when you open this up, it looks very um, much like a normal planner and yeah, it's very fun. So that is all of those for the weeklies. And the last thing that I added in was just a recipe page. This is just a single document and um, I was using them for myself so I went ahead and decided to put them up in there as well for you guys to um, to be able to get your hands on. So it just says recipe at the top. It has a, a line here for a title. So if you're making pumpkin pie or whatever it is from the kitchen of, which I think is cute if it's your own recipe or if it's something that you kind of came up with on your own, um, you can write in your own name or if it was like a recipe that your mother or your grandmother, a friend or whomever gave it to you, you can kind of write that in there too, which is really sweet. You can kind of have a memory of where that um, 
sort of originated from. And then the, sec the next section here you have is ingredients and then you have two sets of lines here for different ingredients that you might need. And then you have a section here for directions and then it's got um, lines all the way across down to the bottom. And this one is just a single PDF and you don't have a backside figured. You could decide what you wanted to do if you want to print this front and back so you have, um, it doesn't take up as much pages in your planner. You could just print them front and back and have the same thing on the back side. Or if you wanted to leave the black blank, you could also do that. And I thought, um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I think for some recipes, I might print them front and back. And for some, I might leave the back blank because there are times where I like to put pictures. If, I don't know if you guys are like this too, but especially if I have um, a recipe from, you know, that I'm pulling from something and somebody has a picture that they've sent me, I like to know what it looks like because it sort of helps me when I'm making it, like, oh, that looks so wrong. Um, so if you wanted to kind of take pictures on the back or something, you could also do it blank. So that is that. And like I said, everything is for the A5 size planner at this time. Um, this is everything that I have. I will put the link for the shop in the description down below. And if you guys have any questions, you can leave like generic questions on here um, in the comments by all means, and I will be happy to answer them. If you have any questions specific to if you purchase and you download, if you could message me on the shop and I can get back to you there for like um, like more help or assistance on the actual like um, download. So that is that. And I have been asked questions about um, other sizes. I know a couple of people are asking about personal size planners. I'm going to do these and see how it goes. Um, if all goes well, I will probably do February soon and post those in the shop. Um, and then I will kind of explore other inserts as I kind of get into A5 planning and also just um, have more time to explore other size planners. I, of course, do. Um, I have used a personal size planner and some other things. If you guys have ideas for what you would like that you haven't been able to find that you would love to see, definitely leave it in the comments below as well. And I can kind of take a look and see what I can come up with to expand um, if all goes well. This is very new to me, so if you could be patient and um, we'll just kind of do this together. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm going to walk through with you kind of the format of the PDFs and, and the the files. If you guys do purchase, then maybe this video will help you. Um, but if you haven't or you don't care, you don't, you know, you can um, go on. So anyways, um, like I said, this is what everything looks like when it's printed out, of course. And the way the files are set up is you have two uh, PDF documents. So you have one for your front and one for your back. Now, my printer, as well as I believe a lot of home printers, do not do double-sided printing. Um, and even if they do, you can still do it manual. And I feel like this was the easiest. My, um, I don't know, I find it easier for me anyway. So this is how I've set them up is you have two files for your front, one for your front, one for your back. So what you do is you go ahead and you put the paper into the printer, you select to print, you have to make sure you print to actual size. And also, um, if you don't have an option in your print box that says, actual size, then click um, scale, and then you should be able to type in 100%. So either one of those, because you wanna make sure that the document is the size that it was intended. A lot of the times a printer will automatically scale to fit the size of the paper that you're working on, which as you can see with these like crop marks here, like this is the size of your page. It's definitely smaller than the actual paper. Uh, so you know, a lot of printers automatically would do something called fit to page. And so it will make this bigger to fit the eight and a half by 11 paper, uh, which you don't want. So you want to make sure that you're printing at actual scale, 100% um, scale, either one of those will work fine. And so what I do is I load my printer with paper, I print out the, for the front pages, which is titled side one. And then what I do is, so my printer personally will come out like this. So it feeds out of the tray this way. And so I know that I need to basically flip this way and feed back into my tray that way. Um, every printer is different. Also, like it sometimes depending on whether you've loaded into a tray or a side tray, it comes out different. So just pay attention to your printer as far as how the paper is coming out so you know um, which way to f flip your pages and put them back in to print the back sides. Um, and then of course the back side, you know, once you print out the front side, you would put it back into your printer um, 
on the back side that makes sense hopefully and then um select open up the side two file and then click print you know same thing with all of the settings in the scale and then it should be um perfectly fine you will get a whole packet just like this so you have front and back sides on here you have crop marks here to help guide you when you are trimming these down to size i think that's very important and yeah, so a couple of things. I use the Hammer Mill Color Copy Digital Paper. It is 32 pound, although I think 28 pound is also really good. I think it's like 100 brightness. It's eight and a half by 11 page size. I've noticed though that I've had better luck finding it online than I have in stores for some reason. And the 28 pound seems to be more popular than the 32. Just a little tidbit there. Um, so anyways, that's the paper that I have been printing on. And then, I will trim this down. The next step I do is trim this down. Now you can definitely use a paper trimmer. I think that is the easiest thing to do. The Fiskars one is really, really great. And so once you trim down your paper, I go ahead and I use one of these. This is from Michaels. It is part of their Recollections collection, uh, but you can get them in a lot of different places. It's just a six hole punch meant for a A5 size. So. I just use that and I punch all of my pages. I punch them in groupings because this one doesn't punch like all the pages at once. So I do like four to five at a time and punch it. And you'll get your holes on the side. And then I have one of these, which I think in my last video, a lot of you guys told me this is a bone folder. So I have one of these. This one's from Martha Stewart. You can get them from a lot of different places and it's just a piece of plastic. And what this does is when you're folding over the flaps here, I can I'll fold this one for you guys so you kind of what I do is I line it up on the at the top there and then you can just do that and it folds your page very nicely and seamlessly it just looks looks better than if you fold it by hand so this little tool comes in handy not necessary but it comes in handy and I really like it I will note my only like my biggest tip too is especially if this is your first time using a printable and or even just this printable because it is new to all of you I would say if you feel really unsure about your printer settings, if you've never used printables before, definitely make sure I would use, maybe test it on like not so great paper so you're not wasting like good paper if you mess up. And then once you get the hang of it, you can print it on the good paper. Um, my other tip as well is just when it comes out, when you have both sides printed and it comes out of the printer, before you start cutting or punching holes or doing anything else, just go and double check that all of your pages are printed correctly. Nothing is upside down, nothing printed on the wrong page. Um, you have all of your pages, just make sure that's all correct because the worst thing to do, and I've definitely, I haven't done it like entirely, but I've done like one or two pages and I'm like, oh. Um, and you realize that you printed it wrong and you've like gone through the trouble of like cutting it and punching holes and then you realize that it's not even correct. So um, that is just a little two cents for me to kind of hopefully save you guys some trouble of doing extra work and just double checking before you move into trimming and all that stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, if you guys have questions, leave them in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys are excited to try these out and yeah if you do try them out definitely tag me on instagram because i'd love to see or post them in my facebook group um yeah so thank you all so much uh, for your interest and for bearing this with me as i figure it out um yeah so i will talk to you all very soon thanks for watching bye